Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, we're going to be looking at a new coin to mine. And this was brought upon by one of my viewers. I'll post a screenshot of that right now, so you guys just know where I got this from. And it's a brand new coin on the Kapow algorithm, and it's meant for gaming and also just proof of work mining. But I'll be going over the website and just information about it, and then we'll get into this the tutorial part of things i just like going over the website and stuff so you guys can get like an idea of what the coin's about and what this project is about it's a very interesting product it's not your normal like gaming project and things like that like how nfts are like play to earn and things like that this is more or less uh the coin being incorporated into other games but we'll get more into that as we get into the website here so this coin is called neoza i believe or neo exa whatever way you want to pronounce it, it's N-E-O-X-A, and it's on the Kapow algorithm, so yeah, it might be a little more power consuming, but from what I've done on research, it is a little more power friendly compared to like Ravencoin and such, just because it is a newer coin, the difficulty is lower and things like that, and they've made it that way that it is like a less power intensive coin compared to like Ravencoin. Now, I believe it is a fork off of Ravencoin, but they incorporate a lot of new things which Ravencoin hasn't done yet. So we'll just go over this website and things about this coin here. So as you see, it's innovating blockchain technology, and technically it is because 85% of the algorithm is proof of work, and the other 10% is proof of game. So you may be wondering, like, what's proof of game? Well, it's when the coins incorporated into certain games and you just play that game for free and you earn the cryptocurrency. So it's a pretty cool idea. As you see, Neo Za, Neo Exa or Neo Za, whatever you want to call it, is a secure decentralized blockchain for the gamers, developers and miners. So it incorporates just the best of both worlds, gaming and mining, in a sense. So it brings together both parties where a lot of people like gamers and miners always butt heads. This is where we can come together and say, look, this coin allows gamers and miners to go ahead and earn. So if we go down, uh, scroll down just a little bit, we see the total supply here. It's like 21 billion or 21 million. I'm not entirely sure there. I'm not too good with numbers, but the block time is 60 seconds. And like I said, proof of work is 85%, proof of game is 10%. It might be 15%. I'm not sure if there's just a little bit of a mistake there with the adding, but the differential that only adds up to about 95%. But maybe the other 5% is just like dev fees and things like that. I'm not entirely sure. I believe it brings it up on this website. But either way, it's a cool project and cool innovation in my opinion. So using the decentralized blockchain technology, NeoXA is a revolutionizing the game industry. No longer play games for free. Get rewarded for playing and developing games. So as you play some free to play games, you will earn this. And this is not their own games they develop. It's incorporated into mainstream games. It's already incorporated into the game Rust, if you know that. They're incorporating it into Minecraft and also Roblox. So you'll be able to play those three games and actually earn this cryptocurrency. Like I said, it's already incorporated into Rust. They're bringing it to Minecraft and Roblox within the next quarter, but I'll be showing you that here. So if we scroll down, the exchanges it's on is Trade.org, uh, TXBit, and XBitTron. So there's a few exchanges where if you do decide just to mine this for a profit or things like that, you can sell it off and exchange it. So why use this coin? Well, it's the currency for investors, gamers, and gaming developers. NeoXA will be implemented to games such as Minecraft, Roblox, and many other popular games that allows custom, modif custom modifications and servers. It does not stop there. With blockchain assets, developers can implement NeoXA assets into any game and feature in the upcoming NeoXA marketplace. So they're even coming out with a marketplace. And like I said, they've already incorporated it into a, uh, a game or two. So you know they're actually working and putting the effort in. And if we scroll down a bit, it's currently available with gameplay on Rust. As you see, there's a YouTube video there. And you can go check that out for yourself on the website here. With the proof of game, users will be able to earn uh, this token or coin, sorry, NeoXA, by playing games such as Minecraft, Roblox, Rust, and others. And you can see there's trackers, calculators, and media. So coin market cap, coin gecko, live coin watch, what to mine, and miner stat. So you'll be able to track the price of this coin and things like that. 
But overall, I feel like it's a pretty cool idea. You're incorporating all the best of like both worlds with mining and gaming. And it's already on free-to-play games such as Minecraft and Roblox. It will be coming to them. But if you want to play it on Rust, you can go ahead and play Rust and get this cryptocurrency here. So just before we get into the tutorial part here, I just want to go over here the proof of work and proof of gaming concept. So you're just mining it with Compow. So it's just going to be with your standard T-Rex miner and things like that. But we'll be getting into that later in this tutorial. And then a the proof of game, it's set up by using their own custom servers. So as you see, if you click on that tab, it's going to give you the information to use to connect to the server and what commands to use. So you can actually use, uh, you, you can play Rust and actually earn Neo Exa. As you see, there's like a video I'm getting started and everything. So if you're interested in the gaming aspect, you can check that out. But if you're interested in the mining aspect, you can follow the rest of this video and I will be showing you how to do that. So if we go over to their vision here, this is kind of their roadmap, you can say. So we can just scroll down here and see the roadmap. So quarter two, they announced it, released their website, they launched it, released pool software and wallets. They're making an Android wallet, which is coming soon. That's not released yet. And then they implemented it into the proof of game on Rust with payments. Launch proof of game server with proof of game mining, quote unquote mining, as in like you play the game and you're just earning it, but in a sense, it's a form of mining. And they're gonna, they started the airdrops to promote social channels. And quarter three is when we'll see it launch on Minecraft and Roblox, but it's going to be more exchanges it's going to list on. They're going to reach out to influencers and developers to kind of get more known and also bring more development into it and implement in-game item purchases with Neo Neo Exa, I believe. Sorry if I'm botching that name. I'm just not, I'm bad with names and pronouncing like some of these cryptocurrencies. But believe me, I like, I'm very interested in this project. Just because I butcher their name doesn't mean, you know, I'm not caring or anything. And then on quarter four, they're launching the app marketplace for independent developers. So if you're a developer, you will be able to develop things on this blockchain. I'm not sure if it's going to be games or things like that. As they said, it's for miners, gamers, and game developers. So I imagine once the marketplace or app marketplace launches, you'll be able to develop games and maybe assets for games and then be able to sell them for this currency. It's going to be like a whole actual like uh, marketplace and actual... I forget what the word I'm looking for here is a whole environment around this coin. So as you see their development stages here, they have Rust completed, Minecraft. So after proof of gaming implementation on Rust, they're going to be added to Minecraft. And then after they get done with Minecraft, they're going to add it to Roblox. So I feel like this is going to bring a lot of attention to it. Just being Minecraft and Roblox are very popular games. I know a lot of gamers aren't huge on cryptocurrencies, but if you can just play Minecraft on a server and go ahead and earn free cryptocurrency in a sense and actually get, I guess in a way, get paid to play the game even though it's free already, it just gives you more incentive to play and it actually brings actual like concept and proof to the actual coin itself because they're not just sitting there and saying, oh, we're doing this and doing this and then just giving up on it. They so far have actually gone through and done it with Rust, so we know they're going to do with Minecraft and Roblox. As long as this project stays active, as usual, there's no guarantee that it stays active. But like I said, this was just brought to my attention from one of my channel viewers, and I looked into it. I've been mining it a little bit myself through my server, and I figured why not? It seems like a legitimate project right now in my aspect. But now we'll get into the tutorial part of things, so that way we can get started with that. So if you guys want to start mining it, you can go ahead and just follow the rest of this video. I may do a video on the proof of gaming once it maybe comes out for Minecraft or something. Because I've uh, played Minecraft and such. And if I can just connect to a server and go ahead and earn some cryptocurrency, why not? But let's just go ahead with this tutorial part of it. So to start this tutorial, we'll just get started with the wallet. So if you come over to their website and click the downloads tab, it's going to bring you to the different wallet options. So all you do is click Windows GUI wallet if you're on Windows or Mac or whatever. But as usual, I'm on Windows here and it'll bring you to the GitHub. And all you do is select the Neo Exa QT for whatever operating system you have. You can do these if you want to run like a node or something like that. But we're focused on the QT part of it. Then once you download it, you extract it and it should bring you onto your desktop here as you see right here. And then once you open it, it's going to look very similar, like I said, to the Ravencoin wallet. 
So I'll just let that open up here. And because it's forked off a of Raven coin, they also do assets and everything like that. And they actually have the assets working on this wallet and everything. So if you are interested in doing like assets and things like that, you can go ahead and do that as well. So there's a few different things. I'll just quickly hide this. But as you see here, I've mined some of it, but I'm just waiting to be paid out just because the pool I use, they have to refill it. But as you see, there's assets, transfer assets, create assets. You can go ahead and create them already. As you see, there's a bunch of different ones. You can see your transaction, the receive, so your receive address, as you see from mining, and then your overview. So it's all pretty similar to Ravencoin and then even um, Avian and such because they're all forks of Ravencoin. But these ones are actually already working with the assets. So once you do have the wallet downloaded, you have to create a paraphrase and just a password for it. And then you have to let it sync to the blockchain as usual. But then once you do that, you click the receive tab. And up here, you can label it whatever, like my label's mining. And then you click request payment. And it'll come up with an address for you to copy and use. And that will be your wallet address for when you start up the mining and such. So I'll just minimize that for now. We can close that out of the way. The next step will be using like a miner. You can go ahead, if you are GPU mining, you can go ahead and use uh, T-Rex miner, or you can use SRB miner multi, which is what I recommend to use. It's a solid miner for most algorithms. Not saying T-Rex isn't, I've used T-Rex in the past and I've had no issue with it. But if you want to go ahead and just use this because it already has a lot of these things set up. So if you scroll down a little bit, you will find a cmd or batch file for ravencoin and i'll post a download link for the script in the description for srb miner here but all you'll do is right click start mining raven and then you'll click edit and then you're gonna have a bunch of like crap above this so it'll be spaced out like this and there'll be a bunch of text just up here and stuff all you want to do is delete all that and then just bring this to the top here and then you can go ahead you might say disable cpu obviously because uh, Kapow is mainly just a GPU algorithm. I've already tried mining CPU with this and it ended up not working. But what you want to do then is once you have all this figured out here, uh, what you can do is select your pool. So you want to come over to mining pool stats here and select which pool you want to use. I've been using Zpool myself. They just currently ran out. So I will show you quickly here. Zpool. We'll go to my wallet. And I'll scroll down to my wallet here, what I've been mining. And as you see, they're just negative to this currency, so they have to get some more blocks. And once they mine some more blocks, you will be good. I just don't have a GPU rig, so I wasn't directly mining it. As you see, I was mining uh, the Minotaurx algorithm. So the M-I-N-X algorithm, which we've talked about in previous videos. And I just convert that over to NeoX here. So, but if you want to direct mine it, you can go right ahead. Just select the pool that you want to use. I suggest spreading out the hash rate. As you see, 43.3% of the known hash rates at one pool. I always suggest spreading it out and going to like different ones, like even Zerg pool, R plant. You could go to, like I said, Z pool if you wanted to as well. So there's a few different options. And then what you want to do, so for example, if you chose Z pool here, we'll just go on the home page. We'll scroll down. And what you want to do is select your region. So for me, for example, it would be North America. And then you want to select the Kapow algorithm. So we'll just quickly find that here. So you click Kapow. You don't have to worry about the zap feature. It's not really used. You go to currency. You scroll down until you find said currency here. So we'll scroll down. There it is, NeoX. And it's going to give you all your stratum and URL. All you need for the server URL is the kapow.na.mine.zpool or whatever region you have. Don't have to worry about the stratum. And all you do is copy that, bring that after the pool setting here, and click paste. And then all you do is paste your wallet address there. So all we'll do here is go to the receive. We'll go here, copy address. And once it's copied, you just want to paste your wallet address. Oh, right after the wallet here, just like that. And then for password, if you are using Zpool, it'll differ for each pool. You click Z equals and then Neo X all in caps, and that will allow you to mine on the Kapow algorithm for Neo X directly, and then you'll be paid out in that. 
and then you can help find some blocks as well because it's always up and down with hash rate and hash power sometimes some people jump in and do that well so let's make sure after the srb-multi.exe it has disable cpu and then that way your gpu is just running i believe srb miner does work for both amd and nvidia if i'm not mistaken i know it works for nvidia i've used it in the past i'm just i haven't been really an amd guy myself so i'm not sure if it does use if it does work with amd if it doesn't you have to try an amd miner with kapow but like i said t-rex miner and they have a few listed on their website here so if you go over to pow slash proof of game it will tell you which miners that you can use most of the time just recommends t-rex it looks like so that's mainly just for nvidia but they might have some other ones on here for depending on if you use amd or nvidia but overall it seems like a legitimate project so it will be worth it i guess to mine and just hang on to or if you want to use it and save it up to the marketplace and help with developers and such i'm not sure how that part's going to work but once you have all this information put in here and make sure all the algorithm is kapow you have the pool set to this like again you don't need the stratum plus tcp just depending on the pool you use just put the, the corresponding pool address and then your wallet address is usually the username and password will be different per pool so it could be c equals whatever coin or it could just be x or whatever it depends on the pool just read the instructions like i said use this website pick a pool just depending on your location even too and all you do is click file save and then all you do is double click start dash mining dot raven and you'll be able to start mining neo exa for this coin and this project so hopefully that was pretty straightforward i know it's kind of i may have butchered a few things here and there it's been a little bit since i've done an actual tutorial like this but i'm glad the person in my comments brought this upon to my attention because it seems like a very interesting project at least to my to, to my knowledge and to my understanding it seems like something I can enjoy. You can mine it and then you'll be able to play certain games and go ahead to earn it as well and mine it quote unquote within games. So it's their new concept of proof of game instead of proof of work and like staking and all that. You have proof of work and proof of game. So it's the best of both worlds for miners and gamers. And as usual, they have all their like social media. So their Twitter, Discord, Telegram, and then they have Bitcoin talk forum on when it started. But overall, like I said, it seems like a pretty solid project. Hopefully it stays sticking around and hopefully they keep developing on it because it's definitely something I'm interested in and hopefully some of you guys are as well. But overall, that's all I got for today's tutorial. Like I said, I hopefully it went smooth and you guys understood it because just it's been a while since I've done tutorials. So I wanted to make sure I got all the information. I know I usually show downloading the miner, but I'll post a link in the description for the website. And all you do is download it, extract it. If you have to, turn the firewall off and add it as an exclusion, like I do in all my other tutorials. But SRB Miner seems to not have like a reaction with the firewall because I believe it's a verified miner. But other than that, I hope everything went smoothly for this tutorial and you guys understood it. Sorry if it was a bit longer. I just wanted to go over like the website and such like I normally do. But if you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know I'm doing a good job with my tutorials and that you guys are enjoying it. But other than that, I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto.